Hello, hello, hello. Pretty sure I'm streaming, so let's just get to it. Um, right now, we're going to be working on an app in Adobe Animate. So basically, I just have the program open. We have a blank action script. Actually, yeah, let me show that part. So, new file. So, you have all the options above right here, which are based off of an exact project that you would need to export this as. So, for web, you have different banners. Um, for education, you have video templates. Um, for social, you're going to have the exact um, dimensions for streaming and other, uh, you know, social graphics and, and web graphics. And down here on the bottom, you have all your sample files. So uh, one good thing that I loved about uh, learning anime in particular is uh, the abundance of tutorial files that they have so you can just you know double click on these and literally dissect these files and you know reverse engineer them so like this ninja girl you can change her color of her you know outfit right there instead of the bacon rider right there you can have a stick figure you can put your own stick figure there you know you can have this koala fighting you know somebody else instead of you know practicing by himself right there it's it's up to you so but right now we're just going to be focusing on um, a quick app in Adobe animate so I'm just gonna click the highest resolution uh, Android that I have and we're gonna switch this right here this is the major point so right now um, I'm gonna be exporting to uh, right yeah right now I'm gonna be just focusing on a web app um, so we're just gonna export this out to uh, the internet we're not gonna install this on any apps or anything yet yet that's gonna determine the the platform the final platform for your project is gonna determine um, what you need right here so action script 3.0 is the standard really um, nowadays everything is okay, excuse me HTML5 is the standard everywhere action script 3.0 was the standard and basically you want to use HTML5 on most projects but on this right here um, you can basically make apps like Android apps and quick little projects with action script and just focus on that language right there so um, just wanted to make that point real quick boom create a project so I'm gonna time myself 723 let's see how fast we can we can make this little photo gallery app so first first things first let's save the project um, we're gonna save this as big cat app boom uh, all right so step one is to create a new file step two is to create a background layer so this layer right up here we're gonna double click this and I'm gonna type in background okay um, new layer next layer is gonna be home okay alright so the next thing I need to do in step two is to actually grab a few pictures and insert them into our app. All right, so I'm just gonna click about four different photos real quick. If it will let me open my photos. All right, so I love this picture of this this lion so we're going to use that okay I'm going to pick
take a picture of a tiger swimming, a jaguar hunting. can see what I'm searching for I'm just searching for quick uh, pictures for this app um, one quick uh, trick for Google images if we're trying to grab something for that's kind of what is that oh. um, if we're trying to grab something for a project like this the best thing to do let's not do Jaguar hunting let's go Jaguar in the wild. I don't want anything crazy. Okay, so the trick for Google Images is to actually click right here where it says tools and you can click this button right here that says size and instead of any size I want large. So that'll only give me high resolution images because uh, a low resolution image is just going to be a blurry image I can't use. So real quick I'm going to try to find um, a cool photo without, I like that one, a cool photo without any crazy watermarks because we just want to make a quick app. So we're going to add this awesome panther we're gonna add oh we do need a background too so I'm just gonna put leopard print texture it's tacky but whatever it's gonna prove a point right now because I just want to create a really really simple app So I need
All right, so I pretty much have <laughs> that lion picture is hilarious. All right, so I pretty much have um, all the pictures I want here. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is making sure this background is set. So we have this background. This is a tacky background, but this is what I want. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, so right now it's imported as an object. So as an object, I can scale it. I can flip it. I can kind of do what I want with it. And this is what I mean by flip it. So I can rotate it I can do whatever I want with it um, but one thing I can't do with it is select one point and kind of manip manipulate it so what I have to do to do that is uh, break it down so basically the control or uh, the keyboard shortcut that I'm about to use is control B so I'm gonna extend this so what you see right here, this rectangle, is what the player is going to see. That's the resolution for a standard phone or a internet browser. So that's your viewpoint. Anything outside of that, the, the player is not going to see it. It's, it's being cut off. So what I want to do is just scale that as big as I, I can, and then I'm just going to control B. You see it looks all funny and fuzzy when it when I do that. Okay, so control B that breaks it apart. And from here, I'll just select this edge. Boom. 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 So I select those edges and I'm going to No, I'm going to keep it like that. All right, so I selected those edges and I just kind of trimmed it trimmed it down so that's eh, I guess I could put pictures on top of that so let right now I'm gonna right uh, left click this cut it put it on the background in place over here uh, and then I'm gonna grab uh, actually I want to have text for the the main uh, home button excuse me main home graphics so uh, this being that bright is kind of distracting so what I'm gonna do is now set that I have it in place and where I want it I'm gonna first go over here to modify convert to symbol and it's gonna ask you it's gonna have a little pop-up that says okay so you want to convert it to a symbol what do you want to do exactly well this is gonna be the background and all this needs to be is just in graphic so my options right here when I go to convert to symbol I have a few different really advanced options so I have a movie clip that I can create I have a button I can create and I have a graphic right now we're just gonna create graphic boom alright so this is a graphic symbol now so it's its own little thing I'm going to double click. Actually, I don't need to double click it. So right now with this, I just want to go. I want to make a, a basic effect on here to make it so it's not as distracting. It's just going to be a background layer. Um, so I'm going to go over here to color effects. Um, you can see all the options that you have here. Brightness. If I want to dim that down, brighten it up, whatever. Um, tint you know you can you can edit you can get some good uh, 
edits in here if you want to like if I wanted to change this to instead of you know leopard skin if I wanted to change this to I don't know some type of alien thingamabob turn I would turn green all the way up maybe maybe a little bit of blue um, I don't know play around with it but the, the point is let's control Z control Z over and over and over and over again go all the way back uh, so that no changes were made basically right now I just want to tone this down so I'm gonna go over here to alpha and eh, 59 might be fine I'll, I'll put it down to about 37 I don't want the background to be too distracting so we put that down to 37 um, we're still on the background layer so I'm just gonna double click this guy now that I'm inside this background layer I can create basically uh, I'm gonna create a frame so I'm gonna create some artwork in here some quick artwork in here so same thing I'm getting all my assets from Google so I'm just gonna Google uh, picture frame okay so we have a few picture frames right here um, I actually like this one right there but let me go and do our trick tools size large boom now we have 14 by 1400 by 1400 that's a huge um, photo resolution so that that's gonna come into Adobe animate and look great you see that right there so that's a high resolution image that looks great so I'm gonna grab that and kind of hold that there for a second I want to have just a few different um, photo frames that we're using and then I do want to have a frame for the background just because I want to make a nice quick little nice looking app real quick all right so we're gonna copy this in here and actually these will just be our two frames that we use I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make the background more than it is so we'll just those will just be the two frames that we use uh, I'm not gonna go too crazy right now all right so right now we're on home uh, the home button or excuse me the home keyframe right here I'm gonna cl right click insert blank keyframe boom I want to we're gonna do this and repeat it about four times right click blank keyframe okay so and then if you if you drag your timeline down you'll see the background goes from our leopard print to white because nothing's there so what we're gonna do now is drag our background layer actually yeah, I do want to make this a little bit more advanced so you can see that you know we have effects and things kind of going over so uh, I'm gonna create a quick border for this quick little yeah let's do that Perfect. All right, cool. This is pretty much what I wanted to do first. So I'll just do it real quick. So I'm going to make this the border. So our background looks kind of funky. We're going to make it we're going to make it look unique and not not cheap. So okay. Uh control B is breaking that image down, that image that we just grabbed from Google. And I'm editing this photo trimming it down to what I need okay so basically right now this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put this frame where we're gonna put this texture excuse me on a, a higher level uh, a layer
So we're going to create another layer right here, name this texture, and this under here, frame. So you guys can see how we can create a basic uh, effect of a clipping. So from here, this is the, the frame that's going to be up on top. Actually, we're going to change the, the position, excuse me. Um, so we're going to go back to frame. Okay, so I want to get this white out of here from the inside. I'm going to go to the polygon tool right now. Or actually, I can go just magic wand. I forgot they added that to animate. So I'm going to go to um, a magic wand and just click that. Boom. Now we got everything from the inside cleared out. And it's going to actually work for us like a frame. And this is going to be a frame for the app. So, lock this texture layer down here so that I can't mess it up and go back up to the frame layer and since I'm gonna be exporting this for like widescreen format you see right here this photo frame is gonna come up short so all I'm gonna do is just extend it down excuse me scale it up not extend it down uh, this might not work for what I'm trying to do all right I don't want to spend too much time on this on this frame. So we're going to keep this frame. This is just going to be for the, the photos that we're using. I was trying to make a cool background, but I'm not really prepared to do this right now. All right, so we're going to back out real quick. And basically, we're going to create a, um, a quick frame real quick. So let's grab some photos. We're gonna grab this cool puma right here. Boom. All right, we're gonna grab that puma and that frame is on this layer right here. So we're just gonna grab this and just, just put it all together. So we're gonna select everything right there. So we grab just all of that, modify, convert to symbol. This right here, same thing, it's gonna be a graphic. So this is gonna be Puma Photo. All right, now this is within itself. Puma Photo is gonna be the first photo that you see when you, when you click through the app. So basically, we're gonna put this over on layer two, or yeah, frame two, excuse me, I'm sorry, frame two. Uh, and one thing I did forget, because I got distracted with the background, is we need to create uh, multiple instances of this background. So let's just drag this over, and drag that all the way down. Uh, we're just gonna have five, yeah, we're just gonna have five pages right now. The home, we're gonna put this panther over here on I think we got a little shift. Okay. All right, I got a shifting background, so I'm just going to delete this background. gonna do is we're just gonna delete all these layers remove all these frames and I'm just gonna create one frame over here since we know it's gonna go five frames and we're just gonna go insert keyframe and I'm just gonna do a basic
light blue layer for the background. Really simple, because I don't, don't want to, yeah, let's just do a solid back, a solid color background, and go back to frame one. So frame one is just going to be our home. So we're going to put big cats, let's go up here. Um, change the color so we're just gonna go big cats and orange okay now one cool thing about animate is that you can spend a lot of time designing and not as much coding can be beneficial for people that are new to coding. Alright, so on the home, uh, alright, so first thing I want to do is actually lock this background layer. Just let that guy chill back there. Um, the home layer, I'm gonna have the title there. I'm gonna click a slightly cooler font. So we're gonna use for big cats. Let's see. Big cat photo. So you see right here, you have all your options for your different fonts. I'm looking for a specific font. I just can't remember the name of it right now. I like that one. That's a kind of, that's a silly font. All right, so cool. We have big cats. Yeah, I actually like yellow a little bit better. Big cats photo gallery. Oh, all right. So what I just did just now is we can we can use the technique I just used for a few different things. So let me delete that. I have the big cats text that we just created. Um, and what I did is control alt. And basically, I'm duplicating. I can duplicate that as many times as I want. So I'm just going to duplicate it once just now. Fill that in black send this to the back arrange so I, I excuse me let me just slow it down let's slow it down we're going to duplicate this by selecting it holding down shift and alt i'm going to go over here i'm going to change this color to black and then i'm going to slide it back up and then i'm going to right click it go to arrange and then go to send to back boom so I sent it all the way to the back layer now I'm gonna raise that up a little bit I'm gonna go over here and go to fill alpha and turn that down to about 30 38 percent and boom I just created a little shadow effect behind my title I'm gonna select big cats and same thing like we did before I'm going to click F8, convert this into title. Actually, I'm going to create this. I'm going to make this a movie clip. So this movie clip, we're just going to do title movie clip. Big cats. Uh, I did want to put photo gallery. So let's put, go down here. And we're going to do a different font for this one. Big Cats Photo Gallery.
cool. Alright, so that's cool. That's the title screen. Boom. Actually, let's go with like. gallery cool and all right so now we need to create a button so we need to create a button graphic by uh, three different ways so uh, one way we can do is literally googling arrow so I'm gonna google arrow image we found the arrow very quickly so boom copy this image and one way we can create an arrow button is bringing that into animate selecting it modify select bitmap trace bitmap from here you kind of have to play with the values but you're you're able to preview it and see what's going on um, I'm gonna take everything down to just 10 so I'm gonna go to 10 10 preview okay and look what happens it basically isolated the colors so I have my arrow I can take them over there and now I can turn that into an arrow button now the the settings I just dealt with are gonna make this crisp or not it, it, it just you have to play with it um, that vectorize image part is is very important um, or the, excuse me, the trace bitmap part is, is very important. So if I find like Tony the Tiger, Tony the Tiger, and let's say, I don't know, I want to create my own, um, ex my own type of cereal. So I would select him, bring him in just like I did that arrow, modify, bitmap trace bitmap and let's see what happens just with the basic uh, the same settings we just used for the arrow preview so it looks like let's see what happened so that did a pretty good job and it's it's a great way that feature right there is a great way to isolate colors so if I wanted to change uh, this color right here I can I can it would take some blending to, to get it right but you can you know edit your bitmaps excuse me edit your pictures um, like that it's not th this can always be used uh, in, in conjunction with tracing and other things like that so yeah um, so I did say I wanted to say a few other ways to make this arrow so I we traced that to get that image right there one way that I can uh, just create a more crisp arrow is by changing my stroke to red. So let's go right here and literally just trace this arrow. We're just gonna trace this arrow. Um, the cool thing about uh, Adobe Animate is that once you see this edge right here, it basically snaps together. So if I if I want to make you know intricate details, it's snapping together. So right now I'm just holding shift and I'm I'm going down on my mouse. And then if I want to drag around the screen, I'm just clicking the inside of my mouse. Um the the scrolling part of the mouse. From here, shift, line, boom shift line boom to make sure it's symmetrical you can always go shift line shift and do another line like straight across okay 
So now that we have uh, this basic arrow shape, oh, forgot the line down there, duh. One way I could have did that also is by just creating half of it and then just, just literally just flipping it. So if I create half of a shape and just duplicate it, transform it, flip vertical, and then let's say I just want to connect it, you can do that with intricate shapes. So that's that's uh, that's one, honestly that's vectorizing 101. So if I ever want to really create anything, I actually let me, let me take that back. That's asset creation 101. You, you don't ever really have to create all of the thing. You only have to create half of it. So look, if if I want to create a cross right now, what do I do? I just create half of it. You see? Now that's my cross. If I want to edit it from here, I can do that. Boom. Really simple. If if I want to create even, you know, advanced more advanced shapes with just the shape tool. I'm not even on I'm not even drawing yet. So, if if I want to create, you know, something advanced Same thing, same thing applies. So I'm just gonna create really simple graphics and they can always turn into more advanced stuff. All right. Anyways, back to uh, creating this button. All right. It's kind of janky, but I want to hurry up right now. I don't want to be on here more than an hour creating this app. So let's save this. And now we have our we have our uh, button. This button is just gonna be orange for right now. Yeah, orange with a thick stroke around layer. Yeah, cool. All right, so man, uh, this is a janky, janky button. Hold on, let me go back. I messed up. So that's what happens sometimes uh, when you're tracing and over an image. Instead of these being long lines, they're the broken lines up here. So I'm just going to delete that part and do what I just said. So we're just going to click that part right here. Boom. Click all of this right here. Duplicate that rotate it actually I need to flip it so I'm gonna go transform flip vertical it flips it over and then we're just gonna delete the middle man this is a struggle arrow like for real there's no reason this arrow should have taken this long well, I did show a few different ways of, of doing it, so that is part of the reason. Ugh. 
this is just one thing that you have to be aware of when you're doing vector art. So I'm just gonna You have to make sure your edges are clean and you can get in there and kind of edit the points. It's going to drive me crazy, but I just need to move on. All right, um, we're going to go F8 and turn this into a button. So this button is going to just go next. All right, now we're on the next button. Actually, I want to change that. I'm sorry, not just next. Um, when we're naming buttons and other things, make sure that when you click it, so I'm gonna click the Big Cats animation. I, I did forget this earlier. Make sure you're naming uh, the instance name as well because that's gonna be important moving forward. So the instance name is gonna be what you see in the actions panel. So under instance, I'm gonna click uh, Big Cats title. Uh, and then I'm going to go back over here to this button and I'm going to click next button instance art. Right, so we're good with that. Um, we're going to start to add some code soon. So let me make that button bigger. I'll probably put something else on this title screen. Maybe just put it big. That's cool. I'm not mad at this. Let's just put this here so it's not too boring. All right. So right now we're just going to control. We're just going to test to see what we have so far. So I'm just going to do control enter. And you see right there, it, it kind of goes crazy. So the first thing that we need to do in our code is go up here to new layer we're gonna click click a new layer and we're gonna go over here to windows and we're gonna click actions all right under actions sorry that was on my other screen all right so under actions line one column one first thing that we're gonna do is we need everything to just stop like things are going too crazy so we just need to click we just need to type s t o p boom boom enter and then after that we're gonna go control enter all right so now that we click stop we just stopped on the home screen and one of the first things i'm noticing is that when I expand, uh, when I have, when I go full screen, I'm seeing white edges. So the first thing I want to do is actually um, change that. So we're gonna click out of there and make sure on my background layer. Let's go to our background and unclick the the lock button right here. Ooh, I messed up. All right. So earlier when I said click the new layer. I thought we had an actions layer. I guess that's fine for right now. Huh. Anyways. All right. So let's go back over to, um, where was I at? Where was I at? What was I at? What I want to do?
Oh, I wanted to change the, the background. Uh, I had a brain fart. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's, let's just extend this all the way out, up and down, just to make sure it's not clipping. And then now let's test it. Control, Alt, Enter. And that looks a lot better. So uh, if, if you see right here, when I click over here, I'm gonna click make another button in a second here. But um, when I click over here, my mouse is changing immediately because it knows that's a button over there. So just notice that it's happening when I, when I go over that as opposed to going over the title. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do the, the, is, is create another button over here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna type in an icon and just use this as a, a graphic for what we're doing. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, the, you can find these for free online. I'm, I just don't, I might not have the time to do that right now. I'm just trying to show a quick way to make uh, different buttons. So we select this same thing, bitmap, trace bitmap. That should be enough. Now we're just gonna delete all the white in there. So we just have the color we need. Um, I'm probably actually gonna just keep the white in the graphic. Ah, we got it. Uh, I gotta find a free, I just need a free vector. I just need a free vector. So let's, let's okay. So another thing, uh, when you're importing photos into Adobe Animate, you go import. You can import into the library, which will import. Why is it trying to import music? Um, you can import pictures directly into the library and then just use them as you please. So I'm gonna select these um, right there. Those are all imported to the library. So now when I go over here and I go Windows Library, I have everything I'm making right here in this library for me. So um, I don't, you don't have to make anything more than once. So if I go down here, let's go to my title. If I want to add another title, you see, it's, it's already created. So, um, the first thing I want to do is add that other button. So, did I import that? Let me see if I, let's import the button that I'm trying to make into the stage. So yeah, we just grab this, this graphic, scale that down, and same thing. Um, we're going to turn this into a button. So, F8, it's going to be a button. This is going to be taking us to the internet. So, enter net. Button, we'll name it something simple, like web button. And let's say, da 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 da, National Geographic Big Cats. Let's say we're making a presentation, we're making something um, about big cats in particular and we just need to compile a lot of information and create uh, an, an app basically an app that we're gonna send to um, different people to, to watch along as we go and we want to make it as interactive as possible so right here we're gonna take this link for National Geographic and you can do this with your own website or whatever um, and we're gonna create a quick 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 uh, button so uh, we have that selected I'm gonna double click this and I, I want to make this filled in just so that when you try to click this it's no problem so we're gonna do that 
just going to be our button for now. It's going to be a little ugly, but whatever. Uh, so now we're on that button. I'm going to click on this button and then I'm going to click F9. So when I go F9, that should pop up my action screen. I just do not see it right now. Oh, it's going on the bottom. Okay, so I'm on my action screen and I have um, that selected. Let me double check to make sure this button selected. All right, so I have the button selected. Um, one great thing about Adobe Animate is that I can obviously type out all my code. So if I wanted to, let's say, if I wanted to create a function, I can go function, name the function F1. So right here, if you see right here, I, I, I created a basic function just now. So basically, I created some simple code that says, hey, I want something to happen when I click on this button. So like I said, you can type it out like normal, uh, like you would do in any other programming language. Uh, Action script is super awesome for that. Um, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna show you guys the most simple, simple, simple way to create things in Action Script. Um, basically, we're gonna cl click Code Snippets right here, and we're gonna go down under to Action Scripts. So, Code Snippets are chunks of code that you can edit and literally use to create apps, create animations, and create different things. So I'm gonna create, click code snippets, and then I'm gonna click, uh, where are we at? Not in a timeline. Uh, actions, there we go. So we're gonna go to actions, and what do we wanna do? I wanna go to a web page when I click this button. So click to go to web page. I click that right there, and then I'm gonna click this button, which is add to current frame. So I can add this, or I can copy this code and, and bring it and put it all on one page. Um, we're just gonna be adding this code directly to our objects right now. So I'm gonna click that button right there, and look, look at everything that I wish I can, I, I might have to get the magnifying tool. Cause this, I need a, I need, I need everybody to see this zoomed in. Uh, da, 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 da. Mag the fire. All right, cool. Okay, that's, that's not gonna work. magnifying tool I'm just gonna have to try to explain all right so this might be a little bit hard to see but basically um, we added code to a button specifically and if you notice this code actually gives you instructions this is a click to go to web page code snippet and the whole idea here is that we're trying to create a, a button to go to a website as quickly as possible. So what we can do is actually take this code snippet and go over here and literally just copy and paste. And now we have a totally different website that we're going to. And all we did was add a simple code snippet to this. So now 
Oh, another thing right here. So these instructions are actually written in the same, you know, place that the code is written in. But if you notice right here, uh, one thing when we're talking about any coding, if you ever hit a backslash, you're canceling out all that code. So let me just undo that. Right. So now let's just test this so far. So now we have two buttons because we have two um, buttons on our title screen. Screen. They're interacting with our mouse. So this button over here is not going to do anything because we didn't add anything to it. Let's see if this button does anything yet. Yet. I click it. Boom. Look at that. It's getting to the web the website that I put onto that button. That is very, very powerful. So now I'm going to click make this button go to our next frame in our photo gallery. And we're going to finish this uh, little photo app out. So let's clean up our, uh, our whole desktop by doing this. Windows, Workspace, Reset Classic. Okay, so we're back to normal. Uh, this button right here is just going to be only on our uh, first page. So we're going to right click, cut, and make sure it's just not anywhere else. So that's cool. Um, this button is going to be used. Yeah, this button's going to be used more than once. So we're going to take this over here, click this, and paste it right here. So frame three, we have our panther. Frame four, we're going to go to our library button right here. We click library, and frame four, I like this for frame three. Frame four is going to be probably the lion, right? Alright, so as I scroll through the different frames, I'm seeing different pages. So what I want to do is double click this and make sure make it look like an actual um, picture frame. So I'm going to cut that, put this down there, paste that. And there you go. It looks kind of good. Um, so another thing that I'm going to be doing, uh, I do want to create a home button, but we're not going to do that right now. I just want to create a simple, a few simple buttons. So let's grab this frame. So. I'm going to take the element of this right here and use it for another picture. So I'm going to copy this uh, frame graphic and go over here to my third frame, or excuse me, the fourth one. And I don't want to use that anymore. I'm going to use 
that tiger, oh no, the cheetah. Yeah, I like the cheetah. So we use the cheetah with its own frame as well. So we're gonna click that, click the cheetah, F8. This is a graphic cheetah. We're gonna scale this down a little bit, double click so we go inside this graphic. Now that we're inside, we can scale that up, click, cut, Boom, we got another nice looking frame. I'm gonna go back here and do the same thing. All right. Um, I'm actually not even gonna take the inside out of that because that's a cool looking wood. So same thing, click both of these, F8, graphics, um, Panther. Yeah, I might only do three pages right now because I wanna get this done. I need to get this done quickly. All right, so we have our Panther graphic in there. Um, I wanna minimize this guy, there you go. That looks pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go back over here and we're just gonna test to see what we have so far. So big cats, we have this that opens up a web page. Um, I actually wanna get rid of this graphic now because it makes it look a little bit too busy. But I do want to add a tiger vector. Yeah, we'll do that later. All right, so that button will take you to a website. This button right here is gonna take you to the next frame. So we need to go from frame one to frame two, and then frame two, frame three, and what we can do is now just create a home icon real quick. The same way we created the, um, the arrow, we can do this. I'm gonna actually trace this real quick because I want you to see the entire process uh, if, if I did this the, the correct way. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trace this one and, and do it real clean. So home button, home button. All right, so we double click into the home button. I'm gonna go up a layer and then I'm gonna lock this this bottom layer. So this bottom layer is this this graphic that I just found online. This top layer is gonna be what I'm using the draw on. So I'm gonna change my stroke to green and I'm just gonna go real quick. Remember what I said, you only need to make half. So if I only make half of this home, guess what? I, had a, I got a full home. So, just gonna trace this image and create a quick little home button for us. said this is all we need so I'm just going to duplicate that over modify transform horizontal connect that 
we don't have two roofs, or excuse me, two um, chimneys. So it's gonna delete this. Delete that. Delete that. And now our graphic is completely done. So I'm just gonna go over here and delete this first layer. So we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna clean this graphic up now. Now I'm gonna turn my graphic to black. Actually, yeah, let's, let's make a funky little house. So we got a yellow outline and then let's go uh, purple house. And from here, I could add detail and all that if I want to, but I'm just trying to get this done quickly. So, okay, we made a house button. I'm gonna right click it, cut it, and then put it on the second page. So the second page is gonna have our Puma. So under here, I'm just gonna put Puma. And then I'm going to lock the background layer so I don't mess up anything over there. And same thing. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste our button. Over here for home. And then basically we're going to make this the home button and whenever you click this button, it's going to take you back to this home page. So I go back to frame two, I click my button and now same thing. I'm going to go back to my action screen. So I'm going to go control nine. Ooh, is it? F9, yeah, I'm sorry, not, not control nine. F9, that brings me my action screen up. Uh, with the home selected, I'm gonna go over here, code snippets, and we want to do a timeline navigation. This is your timeline up here. We're gonna timeline navigation, we're gonna go, click go to frame and stop. So we're gonna click that, and the default is five. We don't want to go to frame flat five. That's going to make us go ahead. We're going to make this, we're going to change this to frame zero. So let's see what we have for. We're on the big cat's home screen. we got this button over here that goes to the internet. We got our title animation. And then we have a button over here. Um, oh, we didn't even create the button to go to the next page. Oopsie daisy. All right, so I'm going to go back over, keep my code snippets open. I'm going to click my button right there. And then same thing, go to this frame and stop. Add that to that button. Boom. What frame do we want to go to? We want to go to frame two. So frame two. Um, and what we're going to do to add detail to this button, I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to change the graphic for when it goes over. So when you're clicking over this button, I want the button to expand. And when you click down on it, I want the button to, when you click down on it, I want the button to change color. So by clicking down on it, let's say it changes to a red. All right, so now, we should have some good functionality. So from here, I can go over my button. You see right there, it's raising up. Same, I'm gonna do the same thing over on this one as well before I move forward. So I go back over here. Um, this must be on that layer. So I'm gonna cut that and put that on the home layer. All right, so I'm gonna double click this and then same thing. Um, we're just gonna make sure everything when we go when we hover over it, it gets bigger. All 
Alright, so just delete that. Alright, so when you click it down, let's just say it turns blue. When you hover over it, we're going to scale it up. Boom. So control all. So what do we have so far? We have coded a basic internet button that when I click this, we go to a website from our little photo app right here. And when I go over here and I click this button, it takes us to the next page. If I click this button, nothing happens because I didn't put any code on this button yet. And 